everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you a little bit of a update on this hanging basket that I planted a couple weeks ago. And if you remember, I had just basically a bunch of calibacoas or super bales on hand that I had picked up from my local Lowe's on clearance and regrew them in their pots, fertilized them, took care of them. And then after a period of time, I planted them in here when they looked fantastic. Um, but yeah, this thing is doing great. It's been probably about four weeks and you can tell that it's already growing over the sides. This blue moon punch was already growing over the side. If you remember, I just kind of like left it hanging there. I trimmed it a little bit, but it looks fantastic. Um, and filling in really full right here. <clears throat> also, one of the stars of the arrangement I feel is the Super Bell's yellow which is right here and I'm turning it now so you can see it but um, this is the one that I had facing the front because it's the brightest color and it really shows up and is striking to the eye so this is doing beautifully as well and it's even flowing over almost as long as the blue moon punch here and doing great additionally we have our grape punch which is on this side now this side it's interesting doesn't get as much sun because when the sun comes over this side of the garage where it's hanging um, it does get dappled sun in the morning but in the afternoon not too much but it's still doing great it's not flowing over as much as the yellow per se but it's doing great in there which is really nice to see then the fourth super bells that i planned in here was this cherry star doing really well too like flushing out a lot more blooms here um, and actually filling in to the other side this is the widest flower i think in addition to the yellow but it looks really really nice all the four of these colors together and if you remember when we did the video when i planted the video i had this super Vena peachy keen that was really looking shabby really small plant kind of looked pitiful i just stuck it in the middle i didn't grow it in its can at all i didn't give it special care i just stuck it in there just kind of as a experiment to see how it did and it's doing exactly what i thought it would do it has come alive and flushed out a lot of blooms and it's growing equally on all sides flowing over the top blooming beautifully right here super excited about that so we have four different colors just the look i was looking for and i think it looks beautiful um a little bit of the care that I've been giving this is obviously I have it on drip every morning for about five minutes. I have this drip line here that has been kind of zip tied to the chain. So it just kind of flows down and waters this whole basket. And instead of a single drip, I put one of those nozzles on there that kind of makes it cascade in an open formation. So it gets all sides of the hanging basket since it is a large hanging basket. So that's that, that waters every day. Also, um, I came in and fertilized this once a week with the Proven Winners Water Soluble Fertilizer. Um, and that really gives it the boost that it needs to just kind of keep going, stay green, stay vigorous, um, keep blooming like this. This is unbelievable. And it's really, I think it's really paying off. Also, I put inside there some of the Proven Winners um, Slow Release and also Flower Tone. If you remember when I planted that, um, I put a bunch of that in there. Because as I always say, when you have a hanging basket, when it, when the water drips out the bottom, it really does leach out a lot of that nutrients. And one of the things here in California that we're dealing with is making sure that we're not wasting water. So it does drip out the bottom, but underneath here, um, I have a mint plant that collects the water droplets from this hanging basket and it waters it down there. And you know, this way it's kind of like recycling the water, one water source for two plants which is great. Okay, so one other thing that I did to make sure that this stays blooming and it doesn't have the budworms on it is I sprayed it with Captain Jack's. It's a concentrate solution that I put in a one gallon sprayer. And I came through, you know, like I said, once every week or every week and a half, sometimes every two weeks, depending on when I forget. And I sprayed it and that seems to keep the uh, the budworms at bay. I do notice that I have a couple little tiny holes in here that let, led me to believe that I was starting to have an issue, but once I came through with the spray, it seems to have taken care of it before it got out of control. And that's the thing, taking care of it before it's out of control is really important. Otherwise, you have beautiful plants with no blooms on them, and it's definitely, most of the time, a budworm issue. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed seeing our update video of this beautiful hanging basket here. 
And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again in the next video. Hopefully some more updates to come. Take care now. Bye-bye.